Okay, but like, can we just take in how freaking adorable my shirt is? I love it so much, I got it at the thrift store for like a dollar, so. <laughs> Thrifting a queen. What do you want? Come say hi. Okay, get out. <laughs> Gag. What? Gag. Uh, would have been okay if it wasn't scraping on the door. Bye. Love you. Love you. It's Jay and today I'm here with my January wrap up 2019 part 2. I ended up reading a total of 12 books this month. If you want to see the first 6 books that I read for January then check out part 1 but these are the last 6 books that I read for the month. So without further ado let us get started. So the first book that I'm going to talk about for this part 2 of January's wrap-up is Broken Things by Lauren Oliver. I give this a 3.5 out of 5 stars on Goodreads. Some of Marks was brutally murdered in the woods many years ago and all fingers pointed to her two best friends Bryn and Mia as the killers. Mia and Bryn have not spoken since the murder but then on the fifth anniversary of Summer's death a discovery is made and that brings the two girls back together. With the help of Owen, a local neighborhood boy, the two girls try to find who the real killer is. Although the book was entertaining while I read it, it was very predictable. I was able to call who the murderer was very quickly in the book, which is why I'm not rating it higher than a 3.5. I also think that the fat rep in this book is a bit problematic in my opinion, but I did really like the alternating perspectives between Bryn and Mia as well as the differing timelines between then and now. I also really like the ex that we got from The Way to Love Lorne, which is the book that the three girls obsessed with before Summer was murdered. I really liked learning more about Mia and Bryn and their side of the story as the story progressed, and I really did like Owen and Abby, the two side characters. I thought they were a really great addition to the story. Personally, I think Summer was a terrible person, and I'm not even mad that she was murdered. Should I say that? Probably not, but I didn't like her. But yeah, overall, 3.5 out of 5 stars. It was super entertaining but super predictable at the same time. The next book that I read was One of Us is Lying by Karen M. McNannis and I gave this a 4 out of 5 stars. If you want to see like my full thoughts on the book, I talked about it in my Buzzwordathon wrap-up so check that out. But I really enjoyed this. It's about five teenagers who get sent to detention and then one of them ends up dead by the end of it. So then the four remaining students become suspects in a murder investigation and it's like that story. I thought it was super entertaining while I read it. I was really hesitant to pick it up at the beginning because it was such an overhyped book when it first became released, but I'm really glad I did. It was really entertaining. I loved all the characters. But if you want to hear my full thoughts, then like I said, check out the Buzzwordathon wrap-up. The next book I have I'm going to have a full review up on my channel because I gave it a 5 out of 5 stars so whenever I give a book a 5 out of 5 stars I usually have a full review up of it so that will be up. I also talked about it on my Buzzwordathon wrap up as well if you want to check that out until the full review is up but it is Lies You Never Told Me by Jennifer Donaldson. Like I said 5 out of 5 stars. It follows Gabe and Elise who both have a story to tell but they've never met each other. Elise is very shy so when she is casted as Juliet in her high school production of Romeo and Juliet everybody is very surprised and then she starts getting the attention of somebody she never thought she would fall for. And then it also follows Gabe, who is dating a super bitchy girl, Sasha, and he's getting very sick and tired of the way he treats other people and him, so he decides that he's going to break up with her. And that's when he realizes that Sasha is going to stop at nothing until she gets what she wants, which is Gabe. Like I said, 5 out of 5 stars. I really enjoyed this. I thought it was super thrilling. It's like super suspenseful when you're reading it. You get this like tight feeling in your chest the entire time. You want to know more and more about it. Check out the full review once it's up for my full thoughts, but read it. Five out of five. The next book, another one that I will have a full review up for eventually on my channel. I'm just a lazy motherfucker and take forever to edit things. I'm sorry. This is the way I am. But it is A Lie to Me by JT Ellison. I gave this a 4.5 out of 5 stars. I talked about it in my Buzzwordathon wrap-up video as well, so check that out. We're doing a lot of self-promotion in this video, sorry. The book follows writers Sutton and Ethan Montclair. 
They are apparently the perfect couple. Everybody seems to love them. And then Sutton goes missing one day and she leaves this cryptic note saying, don't look for me, basically leave me alone. And so Ethan doesn't go to the police for a while and then he becomes the primary suspect. And it's basically the story of all their secrets coming to light and people starting to realize they're not as perfect as they seem and everybody just pointing their fingers at Ethan and you know, it's always the husband. That's basically the moral of this story. But I really loved it. I thought it was super entertaining. I loved the characters. None of them are particularly likable, but I still loved reading about them. Again, check out Buzzwordathon wrap up and I will have a full review eventually, but it was hecka thrilling, hecka good book. I really liked it. The next book. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. Another 5 out of 5 star read for me. I have a full review of it up on my channel, so definitely check that out. But it is Death Prefers Blondes by Caleb Roherg. It follows Margot Manning, who is a teen socialite by day, but then at night, with the help of four drag queens, she is a thief who is able to pull off the biggest heist imaginable. Then one day she gets some pretty bad news and a job goes wrong and basically she needs to decide who she can trust before she puts the one she loves in danger. I love the characters in this book. The four queens are just to die for. Margot is amazing. The diversity in this book is so well done. The relationships in this book are so well done. It's super sex positive as well, which is awesome to see. There's a lot of great rep for bisexuals, as well as non-binary people, and obviously drag queens. Hello? How can you not want to read this book? But if you want my full thoughts, review. Thank you. And then the final book that I read for this month of January 2019 was Dark Tides by Chris Ewan and I gave this a 3 out of 5 stars. It follows Claire Cooper who when she was 8 years old her mother disappeared on Hop Chune, which is the Manx equivalent of Halloween. Claire has always had her suspicions of what happened to her mother and then 10 years later her and 5 of her friends decide to take part in a Hop Chune dare that went very wrong and then year after year this dare keeps coming back to haunt the five friends and it's the story of that and Claire trying to figure out what actually happened to her mother. The story is told in both the past and the present which I thought was very well done. It was really cool to see the flashbacks to when Claire was younger and what she thought happened to her mom but then to also see the future and what this dare was doing to the five friends. I also loved how the prologue from the story eventually showed up later on further into the story it kind of just like picked up from where it was which was really cool it was just really cool to see how the story progressed for 20 years that it took place in I'm only giving it three stars because it is a pretty predictable story I was able to tell who the killer was about a quarter into the book I really liked Claire as a main character I thought her actions were super relatable I also really liked how between chapters you would get the killer's perspective it brought a very creepy feeling to the story. I really liked the mystery behind what happened to Claire's mom. I definitely did not see what actually happened to her coming, so that was a big plus for me. But overall, it was very entertaining while I read it, but it wasn't anything super memorable in my opinion, so three out of five stars. All right, guys, so that was my January wrap-up 2019 part two. Let me know down below if you guys have read any of these and what you thought of them, and I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!